Well, this is a momentous day. Oh, wait a second, let me take my jacket off because I want you to know why it's a momentous day. Sit right there for a second. See, I'm going to put the head to say I'm an International Student Association Executive and I served for a year, whatever it was. I can serve for another year in the position I am. My position is uh, on the, um, what am I? It's like it's a long title. I'm a recruitment. Um, the recruitment and something, public relations and recruitment coordinator for the organization. Now the organization has a function at all because our president absconded to where we disconsolated it. It's a mess. So they're going to have, um, you know, we didn't do anything. I despite, I, believe me, I, I did my best. <laughs> you know, I sent stuff. I mean, I was coming up with stuff all the time. They just ignored me. The executive committee ignored me. The students ignored me. So fine, I'll serve out my little my little term. So today, uh, they're they're gonna uh, uh, new offices. I guess we, they won't take place until whenever they some sort of official handover, and that's fine. I wish all the luck in the world to whoever is gonna take my position. You know, which is which is fine with me, uh, and I will help as much as I possibly can. Uh, but also, uh, also today, they're gonna uh, uh, country reps are gonna be also uh, appointed or elected or whatever you do with country reps. But I'm all, I'm a country rep. I can't not be a country rep because I'm the only person from the United States of North America, you know, uh, that's at this university. So I'm automatically a country rep. So I always hold that office. But I'm not going to um, stand for another office for this, at least for the, this this year. You can you could do it uh, two years in a row, but I'm not going to go through this nonsense. You know, I have other things to do. i got to finish my master's. Anyway, but that's not the news. Uh, the news really is very, well, whew, um, Liberia. Liberia, Liberia. I won't go into the history of Liberia. It was founded right after the Civil War, you know, blah, 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 all the rest of this stuff. It's, it's, these are, they didn't know what to do with the ex-slaves, and, and some of them wanted to do whatever they wanted to do. Some got deported, whatever they, whatever they do with the ex-slaves, aside from the Jim Crow and, and continuing slavery and putting them in jail and all the rest of this stuff. But Liberia was an African uh, nation that they shipped a lot of, of ex-slaves to and to give them a, a new life away from things. And in fact, um, when well, Booker T. Washington uh, was one of the prime movers of, of, of this uh, of this movement uh, to repatriate, or okay, I guess it's repatriate uh, Africans to the to the continent. Um, now, it's very important because people misinterpret um, uh, Booker T. a lot. He's really a Pan Africanist more than people realize. We're we'll gonna get to that right now. That's not the important thing. The important thing is that he's just been announced by Donald Trump, by however he does these things, you know, uh, the President of the United States. Of North America, uh, that the people that are librarians, that that, that be they legal or illegal, they have basically a year to get some. They act together because they're all going to be kicked out of the United States of North America. There's not going to be any more dual citizenship or whatever they have going. You know, I'm not going to research because I'm not really interested in it in it like that. Uh, but here's here's what interests me. I said before when Donald Trump was elected, I said, look, you need to ignore this guy. You need to have your own strategy and tactics to deal with stuff. Okay, when I say ignore the guy, I didn't mean like ignore him, ignore him, but I mean it's like he's going to do what he does and we need to do what we do. It's called strategy and tactics. And the black people for a long time, the center of, of child slavery for a long time, they have no, basically we don't have strategy and tactics. You know, we wait for things, we react, wait for things to happen, this is going to happen. Guarantee people be waiting for a whole year before they move on this Liberian thing. They, they, it, 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 it's going to be a mess. Anyway. So I, I, I think this is a, and every time I look at something, I always try to find, well, I do, I find the positive thing, the positive for the strategy and tactics of liberation in the situation. What am I talking about? Okay, here's what I'm talking about. If uh, this whole Liberian thing is gonna, well, it's gonna happen, right? Donald Trump's gonna take away this, this citizenship, whatever he's gonna do with black people, whatever have you. Our strategy should be very simple. Okay, no problem, but here's the thing. As a librarian or whatever have you, remember, you still owe reparations. So you got to give us our reparations before you kick us out of whatever thing. And not only that, a reparation should expand to something else. Since, uh, since we, uh, the reparations should expand to, of course, to all uh, descendants of, of, of chattel slavery, for sure. But one of the things that really should happen is this is an opportunity for the African Union. I've been looking at this. Uh, 44 nations signed into this uh, this. Uh, 
this basically trade-free zone for, for Africa. Some of the nations that held out, it's really, really ridiculous. Some of the nations that held out on this thing. Do I have my, do I have my phone here? I can check this out. Uh, the nations that, that the, the nations like uh, Namibia, Botswana, uh, um, uh, I think even, uh, really, well, well, maybe Botswana, Eritrea, uh, where's, where's my thing? I just read it in the thing. Uh, uh, Lesotho, uh, all didn't sign this accord. Like there's like there's like 54, 55 African nations, and only 44 of them signed the accord. Uh, but a lot of these folks did not sign the accord, which is uh, which is kind of well, it's what it is. Um, uh, let me just look and see if I can find this thing real, real quick. The people that didn't sign this this accord. Uh, sorry to delay. I mean, I should have had this together, but I wasn't really thinking I do these things the way I do these things. Uh, uh, anyway, so, so they didn't sign this accord, but it's going to affect everybody. But we can use this situation uh, to basically you know, make it so we have uh, 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 all Africa is a, a Africa free zone. I don't have the I don't have the copy with me right now. Okay, but uh, but, but safe to say that uh, Nigeria was the one that didn't sign. South Africa is another one that didn't sign. Uh, so all the other 44 nations that did sign, hopefully they'll get their little uh, they'll they'll get some. It'll be looking very positive for them, and then the other these other ten that did sign will just have to dive in and, and be uh, you know last at the table as it was. I guess they got something up their sleeve or whatever it is. Um, but what interests me in this whole thing is the other forty four nations they get together and they get this this trade free zone, you know, and these nations can sort of cross borders at least in, in a business sense. But you know, as soon the citizenship will follow, then what will happen? We can again I'm, I push this thing. We can have a situation with with African Americans or Africans from, from the diaspora. Uh, and also, you know, certainly descendant of child slavery, um, they would have a special status where they can get in that passport a, a visa that allows them to travel all these 44 nations without any, you know, without all this money being paid or whatever happened. It's like free travel for Africans and, and Africans in diaspora. It's a very important uh, thing that I really uh, wish, well, wish, well, wish, wish, and wish, and I'm trying to, uh, my little aunt trying to go to, Going to try to make happen. You know, it should be a reality. Uh, we need special dispensation aside from reparations. I'm talking about dissident and child slavery reparations, but also part of reparations should be that we be able to go any place in Africa. So, African Union, make that happen. Just a request from me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.